photography. You see everyone on social media, from Snapchat to Instagram, Twitter to Facebook, there's photographers absolutely everywhere. And day by day, more people get into it with the introduction of smartphones and more accessible cameras. We've seen trends take over the internet, such as the highly edited ones, naturalistic ones, grainy photos from the 80s, as well as fabulous drone landscape shots. So I've had my experience with photography. It's a good hobby. I really enjoy it. And especially where I got a camera I really love, it's always brilliant to take out the camera and see what I can get. Now, I've always wondered to myself, what would someone else do with my camera? What would they see with it? What would they take with it? How would they use it? And what would they do? Now, during lockdown, there's nothing really I can do with other people. I did have an idea. If I can only interact with people in my own house, there's only one person I can go to. That's my dad. So my dad wouldn't say he has an eye for photography. Well, today we're going to be putting that to the test. And we're going to see what photos he can get when I give him my camera for a photo walk. So I gave my dad my camera and we took out to the walk. Uh, we walked all the way through the park, went to loads of different locations so we can try it out. I even posed for him a bit, like a little model I am. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm not great, but I tried. That's the main thing. Will these photos be good? I don't know yet it, until I, I upload them to my Mac. I'm back now. Let's see what these look like. Right, okay, I just downloaded the photos onto my Mac and uh, yeah. Let's see what we got. Right, here we go. Okay, okay, right, okay, yeah. Ooh, okay, I like this. The conditions as well today were pretty good, like the clouds are looking spicy. Ooh, I like that, the greens. Ah, that is a great one. Wow. Right, okay, he, did, he, he got he got some good ones. I'm gonna take them to Lightroom, see what I can do with them. Change them. I don't think they need a lot of changing, to be fair. Oh, they're, they're pretty good photos. I'm very surprised, I'm pleasantly surprised. Then I'm gonna show Dad and see what he thinks. So there's the photographer himself. <laughs> uh, I've just sent us your photos. Are you looking forward to seeing him? Can't wait. You can't wait. What was your thought process going into this, this challenge? Take a snap. <laughs> Take a snap. You heard it here first, folks. Okay, here's the raw photos you got. So this is unedited, okay? So I was trying, trying to get the um, thing in the background. Yeah, no, you did a good job. I'm really impressed, by the way. You did a really good job. Very nice. I like this one. And then last two, and this one. Oh, that's my favourite one. That's a good one. I like yeah, that. I like that one. Yeah. Right, okay, you ready to see the edited versions, the final pieces? Yeah. I didn't touch it up awful lot, but obviously I cropped some parts yeah. to make it highlighted. I think I got an idea of what you're going for. Yeah. So I tried to channel that and put it in. Here's the first one. So that's of the tree. Uh, yeah. So I changed the highlights, and that's me walking through the field. Yeah. So I made it almost like a cinema frame. It really reminded me of like film esque. Yeah. Like really good cinematography. Yeah. yeah. There we go. That's so I highlighted it myself. Cool. Yeah, what do you think? That's yeah, good. I enjoy it. Yeah, good. you have fun with that? Yeah. I think you did a great job. I'm sure everyone yeah. agrees. They were really good photos. Well done, Dad. Yeah. You get a handshake. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> I'll have another go at it. You want to have another go at it? Yeah, sure. I might get you hooked on, on photography now. <laughs> From, probably not. If you enjoyed it, you know, if you ever want the camera to call me out, well, you could just shout, to be honest, we're in the same house. Thanks, Dad. Thank you for taking part. As a success. Alright, so uh, that nanny bear does it for today's video, but I got a letter in the post. I got a letter in the post, and it is an update from the WWF. Ages ago on the vlogs, you saw that I adopted some turtles from the WWF, and this is my first update. I'm very happy. It has a little handwritten note on the side as well saying, um, It's the latest news on your incredible marine turtles. I can't wait for this. Oh, come on, open. That, that's the thing about like, receiving mail. It makes me happy because it's like, I don't usually get letters. This is getting me excited for Monday. You should, uh, should wait around for Monday. So I'm like, oh, here we go. Dear Max, coronavirus crisis. Oh, well, that's lovely. It's a very nice letter. Oh, what's this? Oh, here we go. Turtles. Oh my god, this is adorable. That is a sick photo. This is this is like one of the reasons why I really want to do something. Like, if I was going to do a documentary again. Don't get me wrong, I really want to go into, like, fiction film and film in general. But I think something I'm really passionate about, it, I'd love to make a documentary about it. Like, or even just for the vlogs going out to within the Mediterranean or a place like Bora Bora where I can see these fantastic turtles. So thank you for joining me today. As always, if you did enjoy the video, make sure you subscribe down below and also you can check out my other videos. Also, you can check out my other videos on the channel. Feel free to like this one and also comment if you feel like it. It's a Friday, meaning that tomorrow is the weekend. Weekend, fun time. I'm very much looking forward to my weekend. I have a very good weekend planned, so I hope you have one too. And I'll see you on Monday. All right, I'll see you then. Where's the, where's the lens cap? I can't end this till I find the lens cap. Where is it? I'm going to be vlogging for the rest of my life. Oh, where is it? Where's the lens cap? I can't. Okay, it's here. Right, bye.